Matthew 15 3 The Ghost of Smex. Matthew 15 3 And he answered and said to them, Why do you yourselves also break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? Of all holidays Christians will say are pagan, like Halloween, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, and now Thanksgiving Day, Christmas, the biggest pagan holiday in the world. Altogether, even if it is a Christian holiday, many non-Christians celebrate it as well. For what reason, I'm not sure. The birth of Christ is written in Matthew and Luke, but the exact date is not. All we really know is that Mary conceived Jesus by the Holy Spirit, six months after her relative Elizabeth conceived John the Baptist and that Jesus was circumcised and named eight days after he was born. Other than Matthew and Luke, there is no recorded date of Christ's birth, but is a historical fact that the Roman Catholic Church has selected December 25th as Christ's birth date in the 4th century. So Jesus' birthday or Christmas was not celebrated for almost 400 years after it really happened. Why do Christians really celebrate Christmas? How many say they live by God's Word and the Bible alone? But December 25th is nowhere in Scripture. December 25th was already part of the annual holiday and almost all over the world. Much like Halloween, the origins of Christmas are like sun worship, since October 25th and December are part of the colder months of the year for the Northern Hemisphere. Halloween was a festival for the Druid people who fear darkness more than sunlight, so they would try to scare away evil spirits that might come. Christmas evolves around the winter solstice like midwinter, so the ancient world would call it a rebirth of more sunlight, so they celebrated the occasion. In the first century, the words of Jesus were spreading fast, like a virus. The disciples of Christ and other followers of him, witnesses that Jesus was executed on a cross, and rose back to life days later. However, many new to the faith of the Son of God, still fear the physical darkness of less sunlight. So a merger was done, of the Son of God and sun worship. Instead of completely doing away with winter solstice festivals and holidays, the Roman Catholic Church pointed a finger on December 25th, and declared that day to be Jesus Christ's day of birth, and the rest is history. The devil was a genius he put into the minds of fake church leaders to make a holiday look so holy when it was probably the foulest of them all. Does anyone who celebrates December 25th as Christ's birthday ever ask why that date is not in scripture? No, they don't. Yet they will break the Sabbath fourth commandment, but honor Christmas and defend themselves doing both to the grave. Ask yourself, brothers and sisters, does that really make biblical common sense? God bless you, the Son of God loves you, and so do I. Is bondservant Samuel H. Colossians 2 6 Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, seven having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed, and overflowing with gratitude. 8 See to it that there is no one who takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception in accordance with human tradition, in accordance with the elementary principles of the world rather than in accordance with Christ. 9 For in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form, 